Remember the last video where we printed a cool 3D model? Well, we couldn't put down that with a 3D model to start with. So, creating 3D models is super important. It's like the secret recipe for 3D printing. In this video, we're going to learn more about 3D models. What it is and how we create it. Ready to become a 3D model master? Let's go! Most of the objects we see around us are three-dimensional, such as TV, lamp, plant pot, sofa, table. They have length and width like 2D plane figures. But they also have height. A 3D model is a three-dimensional representation of these objects created in a computer. Once these models are created, we can print them using a 3D printer. So, how do we create 3D models in a computer? Let's look at some objects. They look just like basic three-dimensional shapes. Books are like cubes. The mug looks like a cylinder. Baseballs are like spheres. As a matter of fact, we can use these basic shapes to simply represent some 3D models. Of course, objects in real life are often quite complex and cannot be directly represented as 3D models using basic three-dimensional shapes. Thus, today, we'll learn about two basic methods to represent 3D models. Using basic shapes, and 2D sketched 3D models. Using basic shapes is a bit like playing with building blocks. Look at this cottage. It is composed of cubes, widgets, and a cylinder, right? Then we combine the cubes, widgets, and cylinder together according to their approximate positions to create a simple 3D model of a cottage. Isn't this way of creating 3D models very simple? Let's see if we can make 3D models of the things in the pictures using this fun method. In our daily life, many objects cannot be created by directly stacking basic 3D shapes, such as hollow cookie molds, vases with certain shapes, and even winding slides. Next, we'll learn another method to represent 3D models, turning 2D plane figures into cool 3D models. Observe this bare cookie cutter. In baking, the shape of the cookie is defined by a 2D design, through which cookie dough is pressed to create a 3D cookie. In 3D printing, we can draw a sketch or a pattern in two dimensions, then pushes out the shape to create a 3D object. Take a look at this vase. It looks the same on both sides, which means it's symmetrical. This is because it's made by a process called revolving. In 3D modeling, revolving is like spinning a fly shape. Looks like half of the vase side profile around an axis, like an imaginary line, to make it 3D.
Now think about the tunnel. It looks like it's being dug out along a path, right? That's because it's made by a process called swiping. In 3D modeling, we start with a fly shape that looks like a circle, the cross section of the tunnel. Then we drag that shape along a curved line, the path. The result is a 3D tunnel. Can you think of anything in life that becomes 3-dimensional through stacking basic shapes, extrusion, revolving, or swapping, such as birthday cake toppers, a cup, and a banana? You can also print out your own models using these methods and share them with your friends. So, we've learned two cool ways to make 3D models. The first is using basic shapes. The second is 2D sketched 3D models. Extrusion, revolving, and swapping. Each method is special and can be used alone or mixed together to create all sorts of things. Technically, there are many more powerful methods for creating 3D models. And we will gradually learn about it in the future. Bye for now.